Okay, today we're looking at what's called the cosine rule. Um, so, the cosine rule, I'm not going to prove it to you and show you, it's a little bit more tricky than uh, the sine. But if you want to look at the uh, derivation of it, um, look in your text, page 154, and it goes through it in there if you are interested. Um, <coughs> In, we could always ask the question, how do you know which one to use, the sine rule or the cosine rule? Um, so for the sine rule, you have two sides, two angles. And for the cos rule, you have three sides and one angle. They're involved in the question. Okay, so the sides and that are labelled the same as as they are before. Um, so the little letter is the the side, and the larger letter is the angle. All right. So uh, the basic derivation that I put in your textbook ends up that. Of course then there's the other variations. Now if you rearrange that you um, get cos A equals the B squared plus C squared minus A squared on the 2BC and you would use that if you try to find um, the angle. Um, often if you want to find the whole triangle then um, you might need to use the cos rule and the cos sine rule um, in conjunction, or one after the other. Right, right let's have a look at um, an example, or a couple of examples. Okay. Okay, so here's our question. Find a uh, third side of triangle ABC. So here's triangle ABC. Uh, side A is 6. Side C is 10, and the angle here is 70 B, 76 degrees, and we're after finding side B. So, the version we want is B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus uh, 2 B C cos B. Made a mistake there. 2BC, it's 2AC, so let's get rid of that, and put the right thing in there. Okay, so now we need to put in the numbers, so A is 6, 6 squared, plus 10 squared, minus 2 times 6, times 10, times cos, 76 degrees. Alright, rest can then be done on our calculator and you do that you get 106.969 and a few other bits and pieces so B of course is the square root of all of that now of course when you're on your calculator you can keep all the other bits and pieces and you should just highlight and drag um, do that sort of thing so then correct to two decimal places we get 10.34 um, for side length B. Alright, so there's one example. Um, okay, I can look at another example here. Um, this example when we want to find, say, an angle. Okay, so find the smallest angle in the triangle with sides 4 centimetres, 7 centimetres, and 9 centimetres. So here's our triangle A, B, and C. Um, we haven't been told here in the question which is A, B, and C, so we could just go in order. So A is forward, B is 7, and C is 9. Alright, so the question is, which is the smallest angle? Okay, so the smallest angle, the two sides that make it are going to be opened up less. So which one opens them up less, 4 spreads out 
those two ends less than 9 or 7 does, so the angle that we're interested in here is this one, angle A. So the version that we are looking at is cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. And uh, so we've got 7 squared plus 9 squared minus 4 squared over 2 times 7 times 9. And uh, you can figure out that on the calculator, and you figure that out, and you can actually get the calculator to do the whole lot in one go. Um, so A equals cos minus 1, because you can then use your fraction template, you can have all of that stuff all in there, um, which is the best way to go if you possibly can because then we don't have any rounding offs and rounding off errors that come into it and uh, so we can do that then change it to DMS because that's uh, the way we're expected to do it unless we're told otherwise is to do DMS so then 25 degrees and 13 minutes um, would be um, the answer all right, so let's look at an application question. All right, so here's our question. Two rowers set out from the same point. One rows north 70 degrees to the east, 2,000 metres, and the other rows south 15 degrees to the west for 1,800 metres. How far apart are the two rowers? So first of all, we need to draw this thing. So here's our north, south, east and west. There, now, so let's draw it up. So one of the rowers, north 70 degrees to the east for 2,000. So there's 70 degrees, 2,000 metres. The other rower, south 15 degrees to the west for 1,800. So there's 1,800. And that's 15 in there, south 15 to the west. We want to know how far apart they are, so we want to know that green line there. So if we want to know that green line there, we need to know this angle in here. And this angle, green angle in here, well there's a 15 there, there's 15 here, there's 90 here, and... Twenty degrees in there, so that angle that we're looking at, and so let's just label this A B C. So this angle that we're interested in, angle A, equals some um, fifteen plus ninety plus twenty. Um, which I believe would be 125 degrees. All right. So uh, version here, we've got 11a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a. We stick all of that in our calculator. Um, so 1800 squared plus 2000 squared minus 2 times 1800 times 2000 times cos 125 okay and we can then do that on our calculator use the whole lot don't get a calculator to round off things and so you would get 3371.9 meters apart they are all right so that's it for cosine rule um, so that's set number two exercise 5d